I'm going to show you a method of how you can remove cheat passwords from pretty much any type of Excel file. I've given you the code in the description. You can just copy and paste it in and get rid of any cheat passwords you want. I've given you the code, the basic code in the description. So you need to copy and paste that code. So I just pulled it up on screen on Notepad. So I'm just going to do Control A to select it all, Control C to copy it. I'm going to go back to this spreadsheet, hit Alt F11, I'll bring up the uh, VBA editor. Now you can just put this code anywhere, but I'm going to put it on the actual sheet that I'm trying to unprotect. Simple place to put it. So you double click on that in the Project Explorer and paste it in. What this does is a brute force cracker. It's going to go through every iteration of possible passwords and just try and unprotect the sheet. If it's unsuccessful, that would normally generate an error, but this line of code here is going to mean that it's just going to ignore all the errors. It works on the active sheet, so you need to make sure the sheet that you're trying to unprotect is the active sheet. And by the active sheet, I mean it's just highlighted it's the main one available in Excel at the moment. So that'd be this. Okay, so I'm going to go back to this code. Now, if I just run this, it quite often crashes the machine, right? So you try it, but make sure you've got a copy of your of your spreadsheet before you do that and anything else you're working on because it can cause some kind of heavy crash of the computer. But what I'm gonna do is show you a quick method that will prevent the crashes or it certainly prevented them in my book. And that is go through and you can click in the margins of the VBA code and you can put these stops. Now that will just stop the code running each time it hits. You click anywhere in the code and hit F5 to run it. And you need to do this several times because it's just going to hit these stops all the time. And then as soon as it gets to the last one, it's going to run that code. And this is going to give you an idea of how long it's going to take. So when the first one's run, you can un unclick it and hit F5 again. And that'll run it. Effect effectively, it's running that loop twice now. Yeah, and now that's finished. And un click that one, run it again. And what you're looking for is a message is going to come up to say when it's complete and when, it, when it's finished. So I'm just going to run through this myself and then I'll get back to you when I get that. Okay, after an amount of time, you should get a message on screen like this saying complete. Now when I say after some time, this has just taken me nearly two hours. Now it's going to depend on what's in the spreadsheet to be honest because when I was running this on a blank workbook yesterday with a very simple four letter password, it was only actually taking about five minutes to run the whole thing. But in the real world, I guess, you're gonna have more complex spreadsheets, you're gonna have more complex passwords. So yeah, it could take a while. So you might wanna kind of run it overnight or something like that. I click okay, Obviously it's jumped back into the VBA, but if I go back to here, you can see that we should be able to do what we want. It's all basically unprotected and you can do what you like. I thought I'd just show you one extra thing you can do with this code. Because if you've got a load of sheets in your workbook and they've all got passwords on them, because this code's not going to tell you what the password is, you're going to have to run it for each sheet. So. What we can actually do is embed this entire macro in a loop that goes through every single sheet, the workbook, removing the password. So it's pretty straightforward. So it's quite a quick one. So all we need to do is add another or next loop on top of the ones we've already got. This one going through each sheet, the workbook. If I just put for um, each, um, let's just call it my sheet at the moment, in Active workbook dot sheets. Probably dot worksheets actually, isn't it? Yeah, worksheets. So that sets up a loop that's going to go through every single sheet. Then what we're going to do is just say uh, my sheet dot activate because it's working on the active sheet. Yeah. And that way then it's just going to go through every single one and do this. And then at the end, we've just got to remember to put next my sheet. And that's it. It's as simple as that. I'm not going to run it because obviously it's going to go through and uh, take take forever. But if I just indent that, 
it's a bit clearer. So yeah, that code, I'll stick it in the description as well so that you can see what, you know, you can just copy and paste it in, don't need to sort of remember it. But yeah, that is gonna run through every single sheet and just remove all of the passwords in the entire workbook. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit subscribe for plenty more tips and tricks on Upfront Excel, and I'll see you soon.